Hello friends, this is Rahul. Let's simply learn robotic process automation with UiPath. In this video, we will see filter data table or Excel record using Link Queue, that is language integrated query. Let's open UiPath Studio. Create a process, name it filter using link you. Create it. Now uh, I have one record file having some record so we will filter these records and created the new sheet and we'll copy this record in the sheet too. Yeah so let me just copy this excel sheet into the project folder. I'll create one folder called data yeah records are there now create a sequence yeah mm. now our first activity would be read range that is we will read record we will use a read range activity under system under workbook and we will give the path of the worksheet we'll name it create a, we will create data table variable and a control k control k let the records now uh, another activity is we will use assign activity and we will create one variable called selected row and that variable we will change it to data row array yeah so we have created one variable selected row and that variable type we have selected as in data row array now uh, we will use query here which is link you data records dot select and then here are conditions basically so what we'll do in this uh, basically we will filter the record based on the conditions where the age of less than or equal to 3 and CT is Delhi yeah so so first is age is less than or equal to 35 and city is 
Delhi. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So we have put our basically a uh, query here, uh, which is something data row dot select and then condition where is then uh, age is less than equal to 35 and city equals to Delhi. Now we will create another. We'll use another uh, assign activity and we'll create one data table variable again and we'll clone it. So basically it is data it records clone and we'll clone the data table here uh, let's change the variable to data table yeah yeah so here we have cloned the data table and an another activity that we'll be using here basically Mm, for each loop here yeah. and here we will iterate that data row we will change it uh, argument type to system dot data dot data row and we will iterate each selected row here uh, another activity we are using here add uh, data row and here uh, we will be using row dot item array and dt clone now uh, uh or another activity would be right range so we will write a record whatever records we have collected in the basically with the help of data at data row activity and we have collected into the dt records clone data table so we will print basic that table in the into the as an output result uh, we'll collect that into the data into sheet 2 and our variable is data record clone uh, let me click add headers as well yeah let me save this process yeah so in this process first of all we have used return activity then we have used one assign activity and created the array of data row and here we have put actual the link queue query with the with the help of uh, based on the conditions and then we have created a clone of the data records and data table and then we have iterate that data row and we have added data row and then at the end we have write into the excel let's run it and Uh, yeah, execution has been done. Let's see. Our result is in sheet 2. Yeah, so you can see here with the help of whatever condition that we have given in the link queue basically. So that has been filtered it out. So if you see in the first table, we have 10 records and in sheet 2, we have three records based on the condition where age is less than 35 and city is Delhi yeah so the result is correctly there so this is one of the way that is if you want to filter it out your records the link is one of the best options that you can filter it out your records yeah that's it in this uh, basically video and demo thanks for watching please subscribe